वेलकम विपिन टू टी वी जी एम ई एंड आई बी यू नो ग्रेटफुल इफ यू कैन थ्रो सम लाइट ऑन हाउ योर कंपनी इज कॉलेबरेटिंग विद यूरोपियन काउंटर पार्ट्स इन डेवलपिंग सिटीजन एंगेजमेंट प्रोडक्ट्स वेल वी आर स्टार्ट अप नॉट एट अ थ्री ईयर ओल्ड कंपनी and uh, but i think we are among this new breed of indian companies that are hungry to go into the world right hungry to get the world and that's possible today and that's possible today the ecosystem is available the opportunities exist and the team has the skill sets and the desire to do so in such an ecosystem uh, lies you know finding the right partners getting things in a standardized way uh and we have we have managed to do all that thanks to the the people here in india several collaborators uh st microsystems for example mm-hmm. microsoft for example um uh, and uh, together uh built a product smart feedback that that's what we call it to get feedback from the users and from sensors uh and uh, while we have several stations in, in india right now we believe that we are poised to move to the global market um and that's what we're trying to do hmm. and uh, that's what uh, we believe will be uh, the catalyst for our next phase of growth so gaia smart city you know we have seen that you know there are a lot of products you know you people are getting into in the customer engagement or the citizen engagement can you give some example that you know what you people are doing and which territories you have experimented with so far we are a startup so we've been growing organically mm mm-hmm. been growing organically um, with, with in areas that gives us the kind of growth that we want gives us the opportunity for the products that we have in that sense we have the our biggest product is smart feedback and mm-hmm. in many ways everything is going that's going to be our uh, our flagship product uh, because that what that enables is is the ability to gather data as i mentioned from users and from sensors and since can be different kinds of sensors not just sensor humidity sensor the proximity sensor your door opening closing sensor yeah. these all have business applications just getting current from a machine has implications on determining productivity on efficiency um on determining idle times so all of this is kpis are kpis that consumers want yeah. that uh, enterprises want and these are kpis in many ways that are global hmm. i mean as an indian company you have, you have done all this and uh, uh, it, it is something that customers in italy spain also desire are yes. also seeking correct and if we with the with the strengths that we bring indian companies has has strengths mm-hmm. and uh, we should we should capture global markets i don't know why several product companies in india are not moving outward uh, this whole standardization effort that is happening is is about trying to get foreign standards in india and then helping uh, companies work together here in india But we are trying to do the reverse. We are trying to move overseas. Oh, interesting. You know? mm. We are trying to do you know, what few others have done at this stage in our lives. We are trying to capture overseas markets you know, with the products that we have because now products are more or less global, mm-hmm. right? So I, if if foreign products can come into India, it's about time Indian products went overseas. Absolutely, absolutely. Right? Yes. We have. I mean, mm. we have the we have the strengths. We have the resources. um and in the 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 products exist and that's what we're trying to do and I, i'll stick to smart feedback because that's pretty much in in many collab and uh, brought together all the other things that we do which is uh, also a lot of products for search about permission management mm-hmm. the platform actually uses a lot of the software that's built part of that there is a why a low power wide area network that you built that we deploy in kakinara okay um again this this platform in in many ways builds modules from that and we have a low power wide area network based water meter again the platform builds modules together so i think smart feedback is our flagship product that mm-hmm. integrates all of them together mm mm-hmm. mm that's very interesting because you know the, the sensor existed earlier also and you are putting it in the right manner and creating this you know complete ecosystem so which are the other areas you know so apart from swachh bharat mission or the metering you said smart metering what are the other uh, areas or other industries you people are working in manufacturing manufacturing okay manufacturing retail mm-hmm. um healthcare bfsi 
these are all areas that require feedback hmm. and in many ways the feedback that is got here in India is pretty much the similar manner you get feedback from overseas other areas as well and which is where I think uh, we need to work with standards because standards or standardization uh, needs to lead to more open markets yep. right it needs to open up markets mm-hmm. uh, while several countries are trying to close you know, you know build walls um, with the European nations I believe they, they embrace us they're embracing us the, at least the ability the, the opportunities exist so we should do that uh, and, uh, um, and mo- along with standardization what I would also suggest that what I also request is uh, have some kind of a, a lead into certification and uh, and market access, mm. right? If standardization can enable all that, it's good for startups. Mm. You can't just because standardization is not a is not an isolated. Industry. Yes, it is just standardization has to lead to um, globally cert- globally accepted certification and globally uh, you know uh, market access for the cert- uh, standardized products. So I shouldn't have to go to Italy and then say I need my. I mean, they shouldn't tell me I need certification again. Hmm. Or they shouldn't say, no, not for getting into this market, there is regulation, there is some trade agreement. It should all be made simpler. That's what I'm looking at. And that's what uh, hopefully the standardization processes that we have today will evolve to. Hmm. Is there any contribution from India's side to the global world also on the standardization? Several. several. I I Hmm. know that TEC is working, I know TST is working. Hmm. I do know some parts of BIS are also working and they have been working for a long time. But in the recent past, I think TEC themselves have got uh, more than 10 to 20 contributions uh, okay. to the, some of these global, I mean, uh, accepted um, uh, uh, items, I think it's called work items, mm-hmm. accepted work items into these global standardization bodies. Mm-hmm. And DSTS is doing, an, is, an, is doing an amazing job in getting that uh, from its member companies as part of what these members of companies are doing, apart from transposing global standards here. They're also taking Indian Indian approaches further as well. Mm-hmm. Yes, there is there is some of There's a lot of contribution here. Yeah. Uh, no, mm. there is yes a good amount, but it can but grow no. exponentially. Okay, it can grow exponentially. Mm. I think as regular uh, enterprises, whether it's uh, MSMEs or large companies, we have to pay the attention and the, the, the give it that give it the due. Because as Indian companies, we have been shying away from the, the globally, you know, global standardization uh, uh, practices. So what time we did? We have the we have the capital. We have human capital. Mm-hmm. Should be utilized better. So normally, standardization and innovation, you know, these are the two words normally used in the opposite direction. You know, you follow the standard or you innovate something, you know, which is going to challenge these standards. Do you think that standards will help in innovation further? See, typically, you know, it's one should lead to another and one should feed from another also. Hmm. It's a two-way process. Uh, innovation should lead to standardization and likewise innovation should feed off standardization. Um, I don't think there are many ways. It, typically, what happens at least in the technology space, in the ICT space, is uh, yeah, there is such fast turnaround of pro- products that Products become market-defined standards, mm. right? I mean, they don't wait for the standardization process to happen. They become standard by virtue of how the market takes it. I mean, I don't think there's a standard for WhatsApp. Mm-hmm. It's a standard, but yeah? mm. it's a messaging. I mean, people use it, whether it's a standard or not. Right? They, don't, they haven't waited for ITC or ISO or somebody to give them saying, yes, now you are, now you can go. Mm-hmm. Right? So uh, I think technology has been leapfrogging standardization and it's a different kind. But to I'd say it needs to, one needs to, I mean, both need to lead and feed off the other. Okay. Great. Uh, thank you very much for your thoughts and uh, I wish, you know, good luck to your uh, organization. It should become like a benchmark, you know, for the other companies also. Thank you.